It's one Detroit, Detroit taking care of Detroit. I love serving the community. I love people. And I just want to serve them as best as I can. Being an NPO means what to you? Exactly what it says, uh, neighborhood police. I enjoy fostering a positive relationship with the neighborhood. But a lot of people don't necessarily associate police with serving the community and interacting with the community in a more positive way. It's an awesome feeling when you see the walls come down and the people open up. That helps the relationship in both ways. I'm sure it's just as comforting to them as it is to us. As officers, we like to give back. We want to give back to you as well and put something more into your life. This is called the Community Closet. Yes. Why is that a fitting title? I couldn't pick a better coat to put on a place. It won a lot of work was put into it. You didn't think that you can turn something so dark and negative into something so bright. It used to be sales, but now they're closets. It's for the community, and we serve the entire city of Detroit. Everything's donated. And when we take them down the long hallway, you know, they see all the officers and things like that. And then we, when we bring them back here, the first thing they see is a bike. And then they see merchandise, and then they see clothes. And so their faces is like, you know, they light up. They're like, oh my gosh, like I wasn't expecting this. This is a cell block. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> it gives them hope. A single mom with a lot of kids. You see that she actually has some help and got a lot of diapers and things like that. But we also have emergency situations. Just got out of a bad situation, you know, domestic violence or anything like that. And they come in and they leave with, okay, I can actually have a better outlook and I can get out of my situation. You know, it's a good start. You know, that's what we want to do. We want to give them a better start. Here's a list of resources, and here is a hygiene pack, here's some food. We show them that we care for you too, not just people that donate to us, or not just people that are pro-police. Uh, we've helped people that have been locked up in these cells before. Uh, we might not be able to make you whole, but we'll definitely be able to help you until you stabilize yourself. We understand, we understand the struggle, we understand uh, the hard times, and then we want to help. That's what we're here for. It humanizes us. We do the same things that you do. We just have a badge, and we uphold the law. We are just people, we've been in situations just like anyone else. We have family members that are just like anyone else. We're people too. On this side will be like activities and things. And Oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have children's clothes. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> wow. And it's like, I feel like it never ends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's more, there's more, there's more. But we have plenty of space for it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that you could do something like this out of an old cell block. 411 Therapy, Hassan Fayed, Home Depot, CJ, and the Motor City Camaro Club, the citizens of Detroit. Absolutely, thank you. If it wasn't for them and their help, we wouldn't have gotten it started. Because I had a flood and I lost everything, so I had to start over. And that's how I started over, you know, coming here. Beautiful clothes, brand new, brand new shoes with tags on it. I wasn't expecting nothing like this. Did you think the police department would be the place you'd go for that? Never. No, I didn't, but they surprised me and, you know, they kill me too, like they're saying. They do good gestures and I appreciate everything and I didn't have to want for nothing after I left here. How grateful are you? I'm very grateful, thankful, blessed, highly favored, all that, and I really appreciate them. Why? Because they give back and I love them. Have you told people about it? Yeah. Why do you think people need to see this side of police officers? Because everybody think that it's all bad. And, and you know, when you see them coming, you think something bad, or having somebody about to get arrested or something like that. So it's, it's not that, you know, I, I found that out. I'm sure coming into a police station, there's, there's some kind of apprehension, but it's quickly released the way we talk to the citizens, make them comfortable. They, they leave feeling good about the police department, feeling good about their situation. And even if we can just say, hey, we made somebody smile today community policing goes a long way. If people want to help, what do they do? If they want to help, we tell them, you know, make an appointment and uh, they bring everything in, we will take it. They, like Chief White said, was one Detroit. We help each other out because we live together. The quicker we all realize we're one Detroit, it would be a lot better for everybody. It's a message of unity. I enjoy helping people and I enjoy seeing smiles on the faces. I enjoy watching the team working and it, it makes me feel good to know we're making a difference in the city.